I'm India Sage and welcome to In The Know. This show is all about learning the ins and outs of city government and how each department purpose is to help serve you. So on this episode, we're going to learn how to best utilize the department that they're calling the customer service of the city, Constituent Services. I met with the director of Constituent Services, Jennifer Prado, and she shared with me the question that many of you are wondering, what is it? Constituent Services has always been a division of the mayor's office which basically, as part of the mayor's, um, I guess right under the mayor, where you can come with questions, um, problems, complaints, um, just a central, almost like a central customer service area um, where you can come to get anything that you need done. Where do I go to do this? Or where do I go to do that? The overall is just to have a department that is one-on-one -on -one with the constituent um, instead of them feeling like they're just a number. They're impressed that they're getting a live person on the phone instead of having to hit one for this or two for that. Um, so they like that personal interaction. Now that's awesome, but the real key is understanding how to get in contact with the department. So I asked her to break down the process. You can call us or you can email. We have a um, city help email that you can um, send in e that way. You can send it directly to city help or you, there's a, on the website, there's a spot where you can put in questions or comments or you can come in you can write to, um, not everyone does, but I mean, we get mail, so. Um, but the easiest way is just to call. Well, if it's so simple just to call, many are wondering why it's so hard to get their voices heard or their questions answered. So here's what Jennifer shared with us. The main thing that people need to understand is that they need to call us. Um, there, There's a lot of times where they'll call, they might be calling a different number. Um, when it comes to change, unfortunately, we can't, we can't change certain things. Um, we can't change city code. We can't change the law. The thing that constituents need to understand about government is it, it's a process. Um, we can't come in and we can't change the direction of traffic on a street or the way that the parking is. There's a lot of the different factors that go into um, changing something. It's not that easy, I guess. Um, so it's not that it, they're not being heard. It's just a matter of A, making sure that they're telling the right people um, and B, making sure that they understand that it is a process. We tell people all the time to follow up with us. If there's not, um, if you don't hear something from us or you don't, you know, we try to get an answer as quickly as possible. That doesn't always happen, unfortunately. And if they put in a complaint or they put in a, um, a suggestion, you know, follow back up with us if you haven't heard anything um, in a while. Because a lot of times suggestions, they go higher than us. The key for many people is to remember, if you're unsure about a process, a number to call, or where to start, you can always contact constituent services because they're there to help. The great parts are being able to help people. Um, it's easy to, I guess, help them with the really hard issues. Um, getting that person who says, you know, thank you, or help them figure out, you know, a water bill issue, or have them, you know, be able to get a problem, you know, a pothole in front of their house fixed that they've been, you know, frustrated about for so long. Um, just being able to be, be there for them to be able to help them navigate through city government and then also um, be able to come out with an answer for, for them. Um, and a lot of times it's not even if it's good news or bad news, it's just the fact that somebody took the time to listen to them. Trust me, I understand. We all want our voices to be heard. But sometimes we just don't know where to begin. So here are some key tips on what you should do before you call constituent services. One, take a deep breath. Two, write down clear questions. Three, make the call. Four, stay focused until you get your issue resolved. Well, until next time on the next episode of In The Now.